Hello? Hello? Are we live yet? Oh, we are. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. I uh, hope you're having a good week so far. We're almost to Friday. We're almost to IMATS LA. Is anybody else going? I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure lots of people are going, but <laughs> anybody in our little beauty broadcast gang? Um, uh, hold on just a second. Let me fire up my other window here real quick. Only take a second. Man, it's kind of a gray morning here. A gray, gray day. We had uh, some of Tyler's family come through the other day. Um, he's got, we've got, you know, his parents and my parents are um, up in western Illinois area, but then um, Tyler's got an aunt down in Georgia, and the kind of midway meeting point was where we are in southern Illinois. Um, Tyler's grandma, who is, lives in North Dakota, was down in Georgia, and so they kind of brought her up to where we are, and then Tyler's parents took her <laughs> um, back home. So we had uh, quite a group here last night. Nobody's still here today. Um, but we got a little early birthday dinner for Tyler. His birthday is the 25th. So, <laughs> hi everybody. Oh wow, there's lots of people already on the YouTube page. And then I'm looking at the tweet chat page. Oh, Ginger, what's up? Yeah, long time no see. And Mariah's here, Stacy's, Almanda. Oh, she tagged me in the All About Eyes. Cool. It's snowing in Indiana. I'm trying to see, we've got. We got just a little bit of flurries right now out here. And I apologize that this is just not going to be as fun without Kristen here. Because <laughs> she was here last week. Um, if you caught last week's live uh, show, it was really fun to have, you know, another person here. So thank you. Thank you for the scarf compliment, Ashley. I just now got my coffee today, so... The energy level will probably crescendo as we go throughout this. Comments still on the bottom. Why? Yeah, I don't know. It's been like that for, I don't know, more than a couple months now, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, you can chat um, underneath the video or you can go to the tweet chat. Um, it's just kind of whatever's easier. Um, the comments under YouTube have gotten better over time. I remember when they used to stick really bad. Um, but now they seem to update a little bit better. Oh, this girl's life. This is her first BB Live. Welcome. Wendy's here. Hi, Wendy. Allie. Yay. Awesome. Wow. Well, there are, have you guys noticed how many new products are coming out these days? Like how many brands are launching different things, um, whether it's drugstore or high end? Ginger asks, what did everyone have for breakfast this morning? I had um, the other half of my pulled pork sandwich <laughs> that I got last night. We went to um, this amazing barbecue place where we live. Uh, if you're local, you know of 17th Street. So we took everybody there last night, and it was really good. And I love the barbecue pork. Um, it's like it's not over-sauced, um, but it's really tender. I uh, got some waffle fries, hush puppies. Oh, so good. And can you guys tell I'm wearing green eyeshadow today? This lighting, I tell you what. I'm not sure if I shield it, if you can tell, but it's totally green. Maybe I should take a picture with my phone, and I can share this later, and you can see exactly how much more green it truly is than the way it looks on here. <laughs> Bulgaria, hi, Brazil. Oh man, it's really snowing now. Oh, awesome. I can't believe I'm going to Los Angeles tomorrow, guys. I've never been. We're flying out. Um, it's going to be a really quick trip because, I mean, Tyler's going with me and he's got to be back for court stuff, I guess, on Monday. So um, Friday afternoon we're flying out. We'll be at the IMATS thing Saturday. And then we're going to fly back here on Sunday. <laughs> so it's going to be quick, but I think it's going to be really fun. 
I had a lot of fun. The only other IMATS I've ever been to was uh, the New York one. I've just been to that once, and that was awesome. So it's just fun to be in the midst of um, a bunch of people who love makeup like you do, you know? <laughs> um, so it's really fun. Oh, Ginger, listen to what Ginger had. She had a fresh banana, blackberries, and blueberries. I'm trying to be a good girl, she says. <laughs> I actually have some blueberries and bananas, so I could almost do that. Oh, yeah, my eyeshadow looks gray on here, Elizabeth says. I'm sorry. I'll show. I'll have to share my picture on the blog or something, and you'll be like, whoa, it was that green? <laughs> um, it's seriously kind of like a little bit similar to the green that's on my top. I don't know if the picture, picture probably doesn't show how green it is either. Ohio in the house. Oh, Tyler is an Aquarius, yes. He's got uh, a Tie Day Friday coming up. I feel like he's in rare form for this Tie Day Friday. He's extremely dry with his humor, which he always is, but the stuff he says in this video with a straight face just kills me. And then um, he's a little bit sassy, too. It's a good one. Ohio in the house. Pocono Mountains, PA. Oh, thank you so much, Nita. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a show, isn't it? Oh, Kristen's online. And Valerie, evil woman. <laughs> no, I'm not calling anybody evil woman. Her name's Evil Woman 24. Good morning. Did anybody just see that? Did anybody just catch what just happened there? <laughs> I went off the air, and now I'm back. Um, have you ever heard of the Patio Inn in Illinois? No, I have not. Might be in northern Illinois, maybe. Oh, Makeup Geek's going to have a booth there? That's cool. Uh, Jody's here from Alabama. She says, what do you think of the ELF subscription? Worth a try or no? Um, I haven't tried it, but maybe if somebody else on here has. Uh, Jody's on the tweet chat if anybody's tried that and wants to respond to her. Um, yeah, he's a little sassy in this one, Tyler is. He's talking about fragrances and smells. He's kind of particular. Uh, what airline... I think it's, um, it was something different. It's like Alaska, we're flying out on Alaska Airlines, but it's under, so shout out to Salabanda, <laughs> um, but it's under the umbrella of American Airlines, and I, I think both of our uh, flights are. Are you planning on purchasing anything at IMATS? Um, I would like to, I'm not quite sure, I mean, I'm kind of there for just the atmosphere and browse around and see what I see. I get really kind of turned off if there's long lines. <laughs> if there's a big crowd or long lines, I kind of steer clear and just go to some other areas. <laughs> oh, toaster strudel. Yum. I used to eat those every day before school. <laughs> East Texas. Oh, Beth's here. Beth's got a great blog, by the way, Beth Graves does. <laughs> oh. What is the ELF subscription? I don't know a whole lot about it, but from what I understand, it's, you know, it's like ELF's version of a Birchbox type of thing, like a sampling of products. Oh no! The picture you're you're just hearing my audio. Hmm. Well, is there anything I can do about that? Um. Could somebody let me know if they're see if is anybody seeing like me on the screen? 
if you could let me know. Otherwise, this is going to be Radio Edition, Beauty Broadcast Live. <laughs> mm. I'll wait for confirmation. <laughs> As you can see, the hair is thrown up very casually today. Um, oh, wow, Chrissy's watching from Kansas, and she's doing her CPR renewal while watching. That is awesome. <laughs> I love hearing about the th things that you guys are doing while you're watching, because I would never be able to guess what you were doing. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Okay, Chastity is watching. She sees. Ginger sees. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was strictly audio there for a while. Otherwise, I really would have let it all hang out and just. <laughs> oh wait, I'm getting I'm getting confirmation. Oh, <laughs> Marty can see. Hi, Marty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'm getting a a Vox style. I can see a sister, just so you know. <laughs> awesome, awesome, yay. Thank you, guys. Um, I wanted to let you know what I found the other day at Walmart again, and I was really excited about it because I hadn't seen these for months and months. Maybe it's been over a year, but the brush guard, uh, between 4 and $5 at Walmart. Um, I know you can buy these online, um, so that's always an option, but it's kind of nice to just be able to pick them up there. They sell one kind of set. It's the variety pack, which I do like best. Um, it's great for cleaning your brushes, um, especially when you, you're working with the kinds of brushes, uh, like the goat hair ones seem to do this a lot, but look how nicely, like, shaped this is. But had I not used a brush guard, little, you know, everything would be poking out all over the place. And same with your, um, brushes like this, or maybe you just got some old brushes, you know, that are just starting to do that, regardless of what kind of hair they are. Um, I love to have this on there. I will put it up in the brush tree, um, but it will have a brush guard on it, so I think it's just like the best cleaning method for getting that really nice shape back in your brushes, but it's got extra small, small, medium, and large. So the large, and sometimes I just use these for traveling too, because for example, I'll take this kabuki brush, this old, old kabuki brush, and if I'm traveling, I like to have something where I can put like bronzer on my body or something like that. So I take this, but there's no slot for it in my travel brush thingy. So one of the large brush guards fits it really well, and then I can just throw it in my bag, whatever happens, it's not going to get messed up. Um, but in this pack, you're getting one, two, three, you're getting six. And I've picked up quite a few of these over the years. I just got a little cup that holds them, and whenever I'm cleaning brushes, I grab these out. And um, they're just, they're really nice. And I'm not sure if you know, if you're not familiar with these, you probably don't know what they're made out of. So let me pull one out and show you. Um... See how it's like, it, it almost reminds you of one of those things, do you guys remember that finger trick? Like you put both fingers in and then it sticks or something? So it expands, uh, air will get to your brushes, so they can actually fully dry in a brush guard, but um, if I'm taking, say, this, this big old daddy brush, hold on, it'll go, there we go, and just kind of push it down in there, and that's like the way I travel with that thing. And then you just pull it out the other side. There you go. Expands, you know, you can use those those teeny tiny ones. You'll be like, what's that going to work for? That'll work for eye brushes. No problem. And if your cat gets a hold of one of these, don't let your cat get a hold of one of these. <laughs> you may not be able to find them. So I don't know, I mean, if everybody's Walmart's getting these back or if you've had them all along, but... They're pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> um, skincare. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned skincare because last week I was having a dry skin emergency. Seriously, like the driest skin I've ever had. Visibly, visibly flaky in not just a tiny spot, but like here and here. And it was just not cute. 
and uh, Kristen was here and she had recommended um, the CeraVe product in the big tub and a couple other things and I blogged about them just a couple days ago so that's a kind of become part of my new routine now um, and it's strange because I'm not always that dry but I just got real dry recently so check beautybroadcast.net and I talk about the three different things that I bought um, the the big tub is kind of going to be my emergency go-to. I feel like I've sort of solved my problem now, but if I ever have a dry patch, it's a great thing to put on before you go to bed. And then I got the AM, which I did use today. I'm continuing to use this. This is SPF 30. And then I got the hydrating face wash because I was thinking maybe maybe my face wash was really drying me out. So. Um, the brush tree, yes. I mentioned the brush tree in, I have a brush tree review actually on the Express channel and I am pretty sure I mentioned every brush tree I have in that video, but it, they're from Benja Bell. Ben J J A Bell. <laughs> and if you, if you just Google brush tree, I think you're going to, it's going to take you there, but, um, I get them from benjabell.com. Um, they've got some brush cleaning accessories there too, but it's a really handy thing, and it's it's nice because it doesn't stay big. You know, you can take it down, and it ends up taking up like this much space in your in your cabinet. Sorry, I've been kind of on a on a big uh, long spiel there. <laughs> People need to reload if they can't see you. Good call. Oh, Sherry got her brush guards at Amazon.com. You can get a variety pack or an all brush pack. Oh, Hallie says, thanks to my new class, new class schedule, I can watch BB Live every week from Newton. Hi. <laughs> I can see you. Sounds creepy. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Oh, hi, Raina. What's up, Miss Raina? Um, Jennifer had dry skin too, happened to be using all those same products now and loves them and uses the PM2 and it's wonderful. So good. Yeah, I mean, it's just so, it's so handy. You know, it's nice to know that if you are like running into a severely dry skin situation, it, you could run to a Target, a Walmart, a Walgreens, a CVS, and find this kind of stuff. So I'm very thankful to Kristen for pointing me in the right direction because I was like, I mean, it was not looking cute. I mean, and it, I think it kind of got worse through over the course of the day because I didn't notice it looking as dry when I put my makeup on. And then I glanced at myself in the mirror and I thought, that's not normal. The Tarte BB Tinted Treatment. Thank you, Ashley. Um, this, I think I talked about putting this on last week on Beauty Broadcast Live. And I like it, but I, I don't think it's going to be a good dry skin. As good for dry skin. Unless you're really well moisturized underneath. Um, I think for summertime, this could be a ball and primer. So... I'm going to probably kind of like work it in every so often just to check and see how it's going, but I love the way it blends in. It's, you know, it's not a lot of coverage, so I totally see it as as a primer. But, um, oh, and the, I meant to update you guys on the Emily Awards. Yes, they will be happening. <laughs> I tell you, this January... This this month, of, this particular January, uh, very busy, but um, we're getting there. And my only hang-up, sorry, i got a hair in my mouth. Um, I've got part of my intro business that I need Tyler, I need to use him for it, and um, I haven't gotten that yet. I was making it my goal to get the first part up on Sunday. And from there on out, you know, I, I don't post any other videos in between. 
then be like one video, wait a day or two, another Emily Awards. You know, I don't put other stuff in between. So I kind of got to be ready to go with the first one, sort of, kind of be ahead of the game. Um, and I'm not sure, depending on how much we can get shot today after Tyler gets off work, will determine and, and how quickly I can get that all edited on Friday before we leave will determine whether or not I can get it up Sunday. If not Sunday, I'm shooting for Monday. <laughs> so uh, I'm just keeping you posted on that. From there on out, there won't be much much delay. But um, yeah, it's it's tricky. It's tricky now with this Express channel because <laughs> I'm trying to do that, and I'm you know. I, I we've got this very it, it's gonna walk the line between cheesy and very funny the intro <laughs> uh, but I really have to have Tyler be part of it because it's just you'll see it's necessary um, yes I've tried that Pons uh, BB and I liked that um, not as much coverage as I would like but for BB cream, I liked it. I liked the texture on my skin. I thought it blended out well. Yeah, Salamanda, she's wondering if dry skin can be stress-related. I think that that could be. Um, and she said she gets super dry when she's dehydrated. And we had um, just some of the dry, some of the coldest weather we've ever had here, like earlier in that week. So. That could have been it, too. I'm not used to all that cold. I didn't know Sephora was selling brush guards. Hi, Linda! Yeah, the brush tree's so handy. I mean, it's such a simple concept, but yet somebody needed to think of it. <laughs> you know, it's a great thing. Um, did I mention, am I allowed to mention this yet? I guess I wasn't told that I couldn't mention it. I don't think I talked about it last week, but did you guys know that the balm is doing some single eye shadows now? Singles. Single shadows. You may recognize some of these shades from like Nude Tude, Balm Voyage, Balm Jovi. And they've put out palettes where they're just making single pans. Whoop! Just a second. Where did that go? Oh my gosh, I don't want to step on it. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to run over it with my chair or step on it. Um. Okay, this may take a moment. Oh! Of course, I pick up the shade that like most nearly matches my carpet. Um, no, but they're they're magnetized here, and I don't know exactly when they're they're launching. Let me see what you guys are saying about it. I need to refresh that. Um, but this is an example of what the little palette looks like. You know how they do everything cute. They can't make anything that's not cute. It's like they've got such a reputation, it, it can't not be cute. Hold on, y'all. Um, sorry. Things that normally let me click aren't letting me click. Okay. So there's a bigger one, and then there's a smaller one that looks like this. I just filled it up with some... Um, seeing if any of you know about this yet. Mmm. Yeah, so it's cool. It, it's really neat because if you've fallen in love with, like, you know, the, the shadows in, say, the Nude Tude palette aren't that big. So I could see you using up one or two, falling in love with them, and then being like, oh, I would like some singles of that. So I just created this. This is not a pre-done palette. This is an empty palette, and from what I understand, you know, you just, you can choose whatever you want to go in it. So, um, I thought I'd share that, and then this, 
which I think I have seen somebody Instagram about. There's a new luminizer. Her name's Cindy. <laughs> Cindy Luminizer, and you guys know Mary Luminizer was a um, champagne color. Do you see how this is a little bit peach? It says highlighter, shimmer, shadow. Convicted of stealing glances. Warning, extremely bright and master of disguise. So it's really, really soft like, uh, like Mary Luminizer is, but more peachy. And maybe a little less bold with the shimmer. Think of peach with a little golden shimmer. Not, not big chunks of sparkle or anything, but I'm still, still trying to decide how, how important, useful this will be, to me anyway. Um, oh, thanks, Beth. <laughs> I sometimes wonder how it all gets done, too. But at the end of a week, I'm like, well, got everything up. <laughs> oh, my gosh, later today, um, the tag video that me and Kristen did. It's a challenge. It's something something we thought up. So it's new. You haven't. I don't think this has been done before. But um, I got a lot of laughs while editing mine, and I can't see. I can't wait to see Kristen, um, the one that will go up on Kristen's channel too. But yeah, product overload. I feel ya. But that's. Um, the Balm on Instagram, I think it's just The Balm Cosmetics, but let me confirm. The Balm, not Ben Balm, the, it's The Balm underscore Cosmetics. Looks like that. Yeah, they already posted, have been posting about, uh, Cindy Luminizer. Yep. Oh, and their eyeshadow chart. <laughs> Excellent. Me thinking I'm being all sneaky. They've already been talking about it. No, that's cool, but I'm going to be reviewing this kind of stuff too soon. But just wanted to let you know that's out there. Um... What? Nita says, um, my friend goes to Monmouth College. That is where I went. <laughs> oh, I miss that place. Don't you miss the college days sometimes? Yes, I'm going to, I'm going to do some vlogging at IMATS. Tyler's probably going to help. He did a great job uh, when we were in New York. <laughs> Gosh, it's going to be such a quick trip. It's going to be like there and back. Um, hello, Courtney. No, I know. Um, I think I, I just saw the top comments. <laughs> I'm killing Kristen by calling it cold down here, but we were, um, we were, we were not Wisconsin cold, but we were like, um, before she came down, we had a few days that were about like, um, right around zero or below zero, and that just that just doesn't happen here very much. It's all relative. Every cold and hot is all relative to what you're used to, right? For example, I'm gonna go to Los Angeles. I'm probably gonna feel hot, but they're gonna everybody who's no, used to that's probably gonna feel normal. <laughs> Will the balm shadows fit in the Elf Compact, Jeanette? Let's check it out right now. Here's an e.l.f. compact. I'm going to take one out. This is the e.l.f. custom compact. These are a dollar. If the balm stuff fits in here, which I have a hunch that it will, this would be just a great, cheap way to store the singles. Okay. This is one of the... Are you kidding me? Second one. Just call me. This is hashtag Butterfingers today. Okay. There's the open space. 
Okay, there it is, but I don't know that it magnetized. Let me see. No. Okay, so if you put it in the e.l.f. palette, it's going to need a magnet on the back, which is not a big deal. You can get um, little magnets with adhesive on the back from like Hobby Lobby or maybe even Walmart. Um, I've gotten them from Hobby Lobby before. You can just cut them. They're in like a strip. You can cut a little piece, put it on the back. Um, these are all also identified by numbers, by the way. So, for example, this one I pulled out is 41. So if you can, you know, make sure you've got the number, then put it on the back of your magnet, and then it would totally fit this palette. Isn't that cool? Great point. I'm so glad Jeanette asked about that because these are readily available at $1. These nice little e.l.f. compacts. Um, and then, of course, you got your Z palettes, right? So... Yeah, you wouldn't have to buy one of these from the balm to put your shadows in by any means. Are balm shadows the same size as MAC? Um, I believe so, but I'm going to double check that. Got one MAC shadow down here that's not been depotted. Mm hmm. Dee dee, this is live. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this would have to be the same. Wait. Okay, guys. It's a little... Uh, <laughs> I went away again. <laughs> um... Here's a MAC eyeshadow, and do you see the balm, kind of the edge of it coming out around it? So it's a little, it's a little bit bigger, just slightly. But MAC fits the e.l.f. one, too. It's just like it's so close, but it's not exactly the same size. So, all right. Um, checking out the tweet chat. Oh, Mariah's six hours away from LA. Too bad we can't meet up in San Francisco. Oh, I, that, that there's a city that I would like to visit, San Francisco. Um, Ashley says, did you see the Tarte Found Sealer on QVC? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued too. Um, and no, I haven't, I haven't tried it yet, but I kind of, you know, I, I'm skeptical. The coverage of a concealer, you know, blendability of a foundation, I don't know if I buy it. I don't know. Oops. Newest first. Yeah, Balm Singles are on their website now. So I'm going to refresh that there. If the sun looks like it's starting to come out a little bit. Oh, and I've got face of the day to talk about. Um, and well. no, I Whoa. haven't. I haven't tried. Mute that girl. <laughs> Um, oh, Sophia, Sophia's here, her package, okay, remember when I told you last week I got on their website and, and told them to re-deliver, well, yesterday, get this, they leave me a note in my mailbox that says, like, second attempt or something, nobody knocked on the door, nobody came up, like, like they attempted to, to deliver it, but nobody, it, that's the kind of thing they do if, like, they knock on the door and it's something that you have to be there to receive and nobody answers. But I was there all day and nobody came to the door. So I'm going to the place myself. And I will say that I scheduled it for redelivery and nobody knocked on the door. But anyhow, mail service. Hashtag mail problems. Oh, Mrs. Lucky Ann is on vacay this week. Good for you. Is 
Mm. Russia is watching. Hi. Um, Cynthia says you should take a look at the icing by Claire's Cosmetics and Brushes. The brushes are actually really nice and it's all inexpensive, usually on sale. She'd love to see a review on it. Oh, well that's cool because I remember back in the early days of my channel getting eyeshadow palettes um, from Claire's and a couple from the icing and I still have them but I have not looked at the brushes and I wonder because I don't have an icing store right nearby me but I do have a Claire's so I wonder if they've got the same kind of brushes you'd be talking about but that's that's surprising to me if they if they're selling good good quality brushes um, there just because it seems like I don't know if anything's gonna be a little bit sketchy you know you might find some good eyeshadows you might find some good look products but uh, it's surprising that the brushes are so good so that's cool you have to check that out next time I love looking at Claire's for you know just earrings bracelets and stuff what makeup are you taking with you to IMATS, I have not, I have not packed uh, my makeup. I'll probably pack it kind of, I, I like to pack my makeup as I do it, um, like the day of, and then I really make sure I've got like everything I need. Top, top forgotten things. I think we've talked about this before, but the top forgotten things for me will always be the things that I will be at risk of forgetting. Tweezers, eyelash glue, um, there's one brush that I've forgotten like two times. Oh, this one, the one that I use for like my Bare Minerals Bisque, Smashbox number 10, and my face wash cloths. Those are probably my main for things that I'm at risk of forgetting. So <laughs> um, I like to try and pack as I go, but things that I will take, I'll probably be sporting my double wear because that stuff just wears like crazy so double wear foundation um, maybe taking a couple of smallish palettes I'm wearing a black dress uh, it's I got it from TJ no I got it from Ross it's Jessica Simpson brand and I got it for 29 bucks and it's so cute I mean it's black it's basic but it zips all the way up the front kind of a v-neck here um, a little bit of poof on the sleeves, ties around the waist, couple little pockets. It's just it's comfy and I think it's I think it's cute. Um, you gotta wear something you feel comfortable in and I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to go flats on the shoes. I've been burned by trying to be cute on the shoes at IMATS. Not worth it. <laughs> Not worth it to wear the big heels for me. Um, so I'm probably and I flats are cool, right? <laughs> I'm thinking of either my leopard flats, leopard flats, black flats, or red flats. Because that's just the way my feet are most comfortable, and I don't want to be worried about my feet or even thinking about my feet. You posted an Instagram pic of the updo that turns the ends of the hair into bangs. Could you make a tutorial? Oh, yeah. I should do that. That was a really great day because a lot of you told me I looked like a brunette Tinkerbell, and I thought that was like the sweetest compliment ever. <laughs> yeah, I... I loved... that. I have not had any... Um, I, I had a cute Jessica Simpson... Um, clutch that I loved. I actually took that to the IMATS in, in New York. It was like coral and it had a big bow on it, but I had to give that away for like a charity auction thing. Like I signed it and then, um, which was fine. I didn't spend a lot on it either, but it was really cute. <laughs> um, but I really liked the quality of that little clutch and it was lined beautifully. It held a lot. Um, but this dress, I'm digging it. So I don't find a lot of things that 
always like you just put it on and you instantly know like sometimes I'm like well you know if it fit a little bit better in here it was a little bigger in here or a little bit you know so it worked for me so that's good flats all the way okay good thank you thank you everyone <laughs> Woo. I just feel like I, I see so many people doing stuff like going around iMats and like high heels and whatnot and I like I cannot possibly cannot do that unless you want to see this me with this kind of a face all day like uh. <laughs> I mean my feet were in, in quite a bit of pain last year at iMats and I was just wearing like boots with a wedge but the boots were a bit too pointy I think maybe and you know enough of my complaining right Hi, Mariana. This is her first time here. Dress cute but for comfort. Yeah, I think I'm going to... It's going to be funny because I'll be coming from St. Louis and it's going to be kind of cold here. And I'll show up in Los Angeles and be like, Oh, hey, take the jacket off. <laughs> Layers is always a good call, though, because then you're always prepared for whatever. Um, had to walk away for a few minutes. What did I miss? Um, you just missed me complaining about my shoe, my feet and shoes. So nothing much. <laughs> yeah, and but when I wear my flats, it's the size difference between Tyler. Well, the size difference between Tyler and I is shocking to most people, even if I would be wearing heels. But it's even more exaggerated when I'm just in flats, so, oh well, I don't care. <laughs> Have you done a review or tried any Avon products? Yes, ma'am. Um, did I did an Avon, like, a review on a bunch of stuff at once on my main channel. It would have been summer or fall this past. And then I also did one on a bunch of different Mark things. And then I've got a couple individual Avon reviews on my Express channel. One was on that crazy new mascara. And then this week, actually, I talked about the extra lasting shadow sticks, which are the bomb. Yeah, yeah. These sticks twist up, same size as a Mally stick. Uh, great colors. Check them out. Ooh, sneakers. Maybe I should just go sneakers. <laughs> they wouldn't look quite as good with my dress. <laughs> you should do more OOTD videos or pics. Okay. Do you ever do you ever feel like though if you do an OOTD like let's say you love your outfit, okay? You got dressed that day and you freaking love your outfit and then you post it on Instagram and then somebody's like tears you apart thoughts I mean I know some some people will be of the mindset that if you liked it enough yourself it shouldn't matter what anybody else says but sometimes I'm like why even open it up the forum you know why have a <laughs> I don't know. I just don't. I don't always think of myself as like a super fashionista type anyway. So, some I always kind of second guess sometimes the things I put together and what I'm doing. So, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't think people really probably care what I'm wearing. But I w I would do more. I I, sh I should do more because I do have some clothes that I really like. And for people of my same body type, it can be hard when you're really short and you're also short through here from your, your like under your boobs to your, to your waist or your hips is very short. Um, it's hard to find like dresses that fit you um, and don't bunch a little bit because you're so short through there or like pants that work without being too long. Um, so yeah. Maybe I can be of use. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I 
Um, Oh, Jennifer got a couple of those eyeshadow sticks. Oh, good. Um, I hope you like them, and I really think you'll be able to wear them on their own, but it will also be a really long-wearing base type thing if you've got, like, other powder shadows you want to put on top or get, like, a more blended look or do a lot of stuff in your crease. Top them off with a regular shadow, and still, you're going to have a really, really um, long-wearing look. Um, what's this Walmart? I th I'm thinking it was this scarf is from Walmart. It's like it's kind of stretchy, like crunchy, but it stretches out that way and it stretches out that way too. I like it because it's got I don't know. I like all these colors together: the greens and the purples and the blues. And it's nice, like it it it's cool because this looks cute. Like if you're doing um purple eyeshadow or something and then you put this on or you've got a red lip and you put this on it's got like that coordinating pop and like today I did green and so I thought oh that works greetings from Poland oh okay yeah she wants to see some more crazy makeup tutorials like the RuPaul yeah I, I am going to I make it a New Year's resolution to wear more color um, so that's what I, even though it looks very subtle here on, on the camera, um, trying to wear more color. You're right. St style is personal, right? I like, I really like comfortable stuff. You know, um, I don't like, I don't like to have to be thinking about the outfit I'm wearing. I like to be thinking about what I'm doing but not be preoccupied with is a bra strap hanging out is you know is this laying right whatever you know comfort comfort generally wins if it's cute and comfortable it's awesome tardy slip <laughs> Um, oh, I found a good brand of pants at Target that worked really well, uh, like a skinny jean type thing. I think they were called, were they Denizen or something? A lot of stretch in them and just the right length. Um, got them at Target. I, I, there was a special, there were special style. I'll have to check that. Cold coffee can still be good coffee. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, I'm going to do face of the day real quick. I did the Rimmel Stay Matte foundation. Was I wearing this last week, too? May have been. I'm really enjoying this, but I keep forgetting to check on it, like, later in the day. For example, last night, as I'm washing my face, I'm thinking, oh, forgot to, like, do a, an after shot in the mirror, you know, at the because I was wearing this for a lot of hours yesterday. So I'm going to try to remember today. But it's fabulous coverage. And it's definitely, uh, like, that mousse, you know. It's not what the old stay matte was like. So I'm wearing that. Um, I'm wearing that It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye paired with the Hello Light Brightener. So this is my under eye concealer today, right in here. Um, and then I just used a little bit of the brightener, but I don't know. It kind of got covered up with some other stuff. <laughs> um, pulled out a powder I haven't touched in a long time, and it's Revlon Color Stay Pressed. Not that I really needed any powder on top of this. Could have gone without, but I just opted to use some. I used my e.l.f. warm bronzer. Um, this is a nice bronzer. I kind of used these two parts and contoured with it a little bit. And, ooh! Rediscovering this little guy. The In Stain Blush in Houndstooth. This could work for anybody, I believe. Um, it's kind of, um, it's a mauve blush. 
It's a little bit like if you don't love the real bright pinky ones or the two peachy corally ones, I could see this working on so many people. It's so pretty. It's got a little glow, not much. You barely see any of that coming off. Maybe it's it's hardly noticeable, but I mean it's just a really pretty color. So I've got that on. And then um, this is the thing I did my review on that went up this morning. I use this again, my Photo Ready Skin Lights in Bare Light. Love it. Love this stuff. Um, very subtle illuminator. Um, I do a little demo in that video, but it's not something I just squirt on my finger and start rubbing in. I definitely like to thin it out a bit, like spread it out on my hand, stipple brush. Works great. I, I love this glow. I mean, I'm wearing a very matte foundation, and I feel like you can even see here. You know, it's, it's a little bit glowy, so I like that. Um, so that's the face stuff. On my lips, gosh, it's wearing off already. I'm having really dry lips, but this is the Color Whisper in Petal Rebel. Let's see if we can... Pink. Yes, this is this is. Um, Kristen gave me this for my birthday. Eureka nail polish from Sephora Formula X. She got me the little system, and so you can plug in. Check this out. Isn't this cool? How how neat and thoughtful. You can put in whatever color you want there, and then you get a cleanse, prime, and shine. It's been lasting really well. I only have some minor chipping on the outsides, but it really had the shine and the feel of like a gel. And it's a beautiful color. Can you tell I like that color? <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Um, on my eyes, what I use for my greens, uh, Smashbox Wonder Vision palette. And I chose, I'm wearing mainly these two colors. And then I took a little bit of this one, which kind of goes a little bit brownish, a little bit greenish. Um, so those, this is kind of like outer corner, under the eye. These two are lid. And then um, I used a little bit of this. This is kind of like a pinky lilac. And I actually blended out things with that. So that was fun. I hadn't really used those colors very much in that palette. And then I used my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner on top. I used my Almay One Coat Triple Effect Mascara. Gives me some good length, good volume. And brows are the IT Cosmetics, your brows but better. Skinny pencil. So that is the face of the day. I, I don't think I've ever gotten through it so fast. Okay. Um, do you know a dupe for the color lipstick, Color of Hope from L'Oreal? Oh, was that a like a limited edition breast cancer awareness type collection? Because I, I don't have that, but I think I remember seeing it. But I'm sorry, I don't have a dupe. I always like to, you know, have things that I can actually swatch. Sometimes people have asked me to dupe things from pictures and stuff I don't have. And, and sometimes things look very differently, like swatched out or applied compared to how they look in the packaging. So, hi, Denise, first time. Rebecca loves houndstooth. Yay. Beautiful. Oh, Lacey's got a new shift at work. Awesome. She's using using doing her makeup for work using Lorac Spotlight. Oops, it just went away. Lorac Spotlight, Essence Bronzer, and Revlon Color Stay. Sounds good. Brushes to contour. Um anymore, I've been just get working this brush to death. This is my Sigma F10, and this works so well for my face powder, my blush, and my contour. But 
the thing that I, I and I just kind of use it that way because it's just quick, you know. But another brush that I do like is this um, F40 large angled contour. It's it's a little bit smaller than this one, actually. I think I mean I think it gives a more um, precise placement. But either of these, I really I really like for that. Um, and then I've got another brush from Revlon. And I believe this was called the Revlon Blush Brush. And this is kind of nice. It, it reminds me a lot of the F10 as well. Nice multi-purpose, you know, your powder, your blush, your contour. So that's a Revlon. I got that from Walmart. Not super recently, but within the last year probably. Hmm. Oh, Valerie says, speaking of eyes, been totally obsessed with the chocolate bar palette for a neutral lover like me, it's heaven. I can see that. <laughs> I can see why, you know, because it's, I, I kind of tried to make, make this point in, in the review, but it's not just one shade of brown. It's like five or six shades of brown, like three versions of taupe, um, mattes and shimmers, you know, there's so much it's sometimes hard to find that amount of neutral variety in one palette. So, Heidi, you're doing it right. I can see you. Um, sorry, I've been missing some comments here because I've just been getting on rants. Um, do you know where I can find Maybelline Baby Pore Eraser? Um, Cecilia, I have only seen it personally at CVS. That's not to say it's not other places, but that's just where I've found it. Um, what do you think of the Bye Bye Under Eye? Um, I like it. This shade, the shade that I have says neutral medium, but it seems lighter than the medium that I had in a tube before this. Um, I like it. It's definitely like one of those concealers that I wouldn't want to use it without setting it. Um, because I think some concealers set and become kind of like, I don't want to say cream to powder, but like they don't stay as dewy, and this does. So I feel like I have to get at least a little powder on top of this. Otherwise, I get very worried about it because I put it so close to my lower lash line. I get worried about um, that causing smudges there. So... Um, I, I only use this on my under eye because I know they suggest that it can maybe be used elsewhere on the face, but it's definitely broken me out around my nose when I've used it there. So it's a little heavy, um, it's a little sticky, but it does have good coverage. But I think you want to set it with something. Yes, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> that chocolate bar palette does. Um, and then, gosh, MAC Pro Longwear is a fabulous concealer. I'm like drooling. <laughs> I'm like spitting outside my mouth. <laughs> oh, I love doing beauty broadcasts live every week. I love it. And I'm totally giving away some Emily Awards here, but the other one, um, for from a corrector standpoint, for dark circles, Pixie Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach is definitely worth checking out. Um, that is not only good on your dark circles, but also discoloration, uh, age spots, sunspots kind of thing. Um, apply it with your fingers. Don't use too much. Let it really melt into those areas. Like press it right into those places where you're trying to cover. Um, and it may be a two-step thing for you. Maybe you do that and you're like, okay, now the darkness seems evened out, but I still want to brighten. And then maybe you go in with something like the... Maybelline Dream Lumi, and you know, you use that as your brightening step. But you've, but you've gotten your problem areas under control in a corrector style fashion. Hope that kind of answered some questions there. Oh, and Sarah got her baby skin at Target. Um. And Mariah got it at Ulta. Oh, I ordered the, I think Linda, Linda Webb um, mentioned a matte palette from Tarte. 
that's out. And I ordered that on Ulta's website because I, I don't know if it's online only, but it wasn't in Ulta stores. But I ordered that all matte tart palette. Oh, Liz Liz posted a link to the Color of Hope lipstick. Um, she's on the tweet chat. The person who asked about that was on the live stream. Who had asked about that? I'm sorry, I, the names. I have trouble with names sometimes. Um, who asked about Color of Hope? Um, if you asked about Color of Hope, go to the tweet chat. <laughs> There's a link that's been posted there. Hashtag BB Live um, is where you find that. Oh my gosh. Don't you love that when, like, drugstores, Gracie just said, my CVS put it on the top shelves, so look up next time and maybe you'll find it. Um, I didn't know exactly what she's talking about because Walgreens, when my sister and my mom and I were shopping on my birthday, yes, we went to drugstores, <laughs> um, they had uh, some brand new stuff, like a lot of the new stuff that I put in my new at the drugstore video, way, way up. Like, they weren't ready to bring that down yet. They were still selling their Christmas sets and whatever. And so I'm, like, reaching up there, and Pup's helping me get it down. <laughs> um, uh, Christiane or Christian, um, not sure how you say it, uh, just tried the Elf Hydrating Face Primer. I am amazed. You should check it out, she says. Elf Hydrating Face Primer. Is that uh, uh, a studio item, I assume? Oh, Linda says, love watching Beauty Broadcast Live every week. Wish my tweet chat worked. Uh, ladies over there, love you, she says. Linda Webb sending a message over to the tweet chat. Any suggestions on a Becca product for my birthday shopping trip to Sephora this Saturday? Um, I haven't tried Becca, so if anybody else has some, let Beth Graves know. Mm. Oh, Danielle's ordering that Tarte Matte palette tomorrow. Mm. Um, I had something I was going to talk about. I set it out for myself to remember. Oh, have you guys seen these little things? Um, I ordered another. I ordered another lipstick holder off Lady Moss. I haven't set it up yet. This. Let me get it down for you. I want this to have like a different theme in it every couple weeks. And right now I've got stuff with gold on it in here. But this little lipstick holder, little square things, it's on ladymoss.com. And I ordered another one, and they sent something else with it that I wanted to show you. Especially you uh, eyelash lovers. I like that back there, though. It's, I mean, you might as well display stuff, right? But this is a little eyelash holder. Isn't this cute? Um... In fact, I have a pair to put in it. So see, it's got a space there for you to store them. I think this is so, so cute. So you just pop them in, and it's like they're waiting to be cleaned. Look at that. Not dusty. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Uh, Danielle says, I'm doing my makeup for class. I realize how many products I bought because of Emily. Uh-oh. Uh oh, guilty. <laughs> um, people are talking about some good stuff from Becca. Chelsea says Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal is amazing, and the Gypsy Blush or any of their blushes. And then Lacey Wright's stuff says Becca Opal Highlighting Powder, all caps. So it must be important. 
L'Oreal Youth Code has a new pore eraser. It's a lot like professional, but less thick, same flesh tone. Thank you, Carol, for the heads up. In your 600th video shenanigans, at 121, you have a navy blue-like eye makeup look that I love. Would you do a tutorial? Hmm. I'll have to check that out and see, um, see if I have one. You know? Because I might, I might have done a tutorial on that look, because I think... Oh... Um, did I or did... I'll, I'll have to check that out. 121. I'm going to screenshot your comment here, Amanda. That's a cute little baby in your pic, by the way. Um, video of your complete makeup collection. <laughs> Yeah, um, there's a lot. I I have gotten pretty organized now. I think I told you guys I was trying to get organized after Christmas, and I have. I pretty much have. Um, my closet back here has some shelving in it and some little cubby holes where I keep pallets, and I've got that kind of under control now. <laughs> Um, people, this is what I was going to mention. Um, somebody was asking about new Nick stuff, and Kristen and I, we went shopping last Friday. I think we told you that was when we said there's going to be a beauty hangover. Um, and I, we found those butter lipsticks from Nick. I got three because I'm totally going to review these. Hi, Ariana. Hello. <laughs> um, this sh shade is called Mary Jane's, and these are very shiny, was what we found. But Kristen and I both got this. That's Mary Jane's, beautiful red. Um, I got this one called Fun Size, and it's like a nude peach. Again, it's not shimmery, but it turns out to be very just shiny. And then this one, whoop, whoop, this is called Hunk. Beautiful. Shall I? Let's do it. It doesn't look exactly like it looks in the tube on the lips, but... Oh, Kristen says, I do have a navy blue tutorial using the, the Mally Shadow Stick and the NYX Blue Eyeshadow. So, yeah. Now it's coming back to me. It was probably that video. It would have been around that time. I would do a search on my computer, but I don't think my computer can handle all of this. <laughs> it can handle me to, you know, use the internet in one window and broadcast in the other, but my lips are so dry. There you go. Look at this. Of all these shades um, swatched on my hand, this one left behind a little stain. I tell you, if you want to go out on a limb, try something new. Oh, Kristen looked it up. It's called Soft and Pretty Date Night Eyes. That's the navy blue look. Thank you, Kristen! <laughs> That's awesome. Soft and pretty date night eyes. Okay. That is hunk. Don't you love it? The shine? The color? Wow. Um, oh, the Tarte palette is now out of stock on Ulta's website, says Jennifer. First time here, Kaylee's, oh, it's Kaylee's first time here from Arizona. Hi! I'm coming out west soon. <laughs> oh, the new Milani stuff, yes, yes. I've got some of that to dig through. and have a total swatch fest of. Um... She, Kristen just linked in a comment. She says.
I just love this color. And the red is very pretty too. This one, soft and I light. Out west soon. <laughs> I'm gonna check that. Yeah, uh, Amanda. She said she's posting the uh, link. Um, which would you recommend, Naked 3 or Will Rock Unzipped? Um, Holly, I don't know if you saw my, it would have been on the Express channel, my Naked 3 review, but I kind of talked about what the differences were between the two and who might like what, but if you want more actual pink toned eyeshadows, Naked 3, but if you like, um, if you still like, 